All right, it's started. Okay. Hi, everyone. Thanks for being here. Um, I, as part of the Achieve Club initiative, I'm going to be presenting the seminar on writing your Common App essay. So, a little bit about me. Um, my name's Ashi. I'm an incoming freshman at the University of California, Berkeley. Uh, and I'm sure you guys had time to read the description that Angelica posted um, in the Slack. But I also wanted to add a little bit about where I'm getting my information for writing the Common App essay to sort of ease your tensions. Um, the, all of this stuff is coming from um, my personal experience, as well as I worked with a college counselor for writing my Common App essay. So her advice, and she had over 15 years of experience doing this sort of stuff. Um, my creative writing English teachers, uh, as well as academic English teachers. And then I talked to my friends a little bit about their Common App writing process as well. And so this is a compilation of all of that. And I have also provided some online resources towards the end where you can go and um, read a couple more, <laughs> more essays as well. Okay, so starting with the basics. So what is the Common App essay? So the Common App is basically this platform where you can go um, ahead and apply to multiple colleges through the one platform and they all require you to write this one 650 word essay on various prompts that they provide. And again, these will be attached at the end for this year. Um, you should start writing it ideally in the summer of your junior year. So now would actually be the perfect time to start it. I started mine uh, late August and it took me until the beginning of October to finish with revisions and everything. And that pushed me sort of back on writing my supplemental essays. So I do recommend starting um, writing them the summer of your junior year. Obviously give yourself like a month um, or month off from school and stuff like that. But um, mid-July definitely is a great time to start writing. Um, why do schools require the Common App essay? This is actually a really common question, but schools are mainly um, the Common App essay provides them a window into who you really are on top of your extracurriculars, your grades, your stats, and everything like that. Um, it's a way you can show them your character in addition to the letters of recommendation. Um, and you get to write it. So you get to show the admissions officers who you really are, like characteristics, your interests, everything that makes you you. Um, so that's what schools are looking for from the Common App essay, and they want to see your ability to write because many different um, schools have different grading systems and different levels of academic writing, creative writing, so they want to see your ability to write firsthand. Um, and then where do I begin and how do I write the Common App essay? I will go into a little bit later. So I thought we could start by um, going through this Common App essay that I picked out together. We're going to go ahead and just read through it, and I'll give about one and a half minutes per slide so that you can finish. Um, and then I'll ask for initial thoughts just so that you know what like a good Common App essay looks like. And I found this online. Again, the links will be at the end. So go ahead, just about a minute per slide.
and moving on to the next one. And final slide. Okay, so if you're not done reading, you can keep um, finishing up. Um, I can't see the chat personally, but if you are, if you guys could put your thoughts as to some adjectives that you could think um, you think would describe uh, this essay well, go ahead and put them in the chat. Um, just have like about a minute to think about it. Your first impressions of the essay. Yeah, it's definitely, um, yeah, Zuha, I agree. The academic jargon is strong. And yeah, Navia, it's very creative and thorough. So here are a couple that I came up with on my own. Uh, unique, humorous, thoughtful, multifaceted, engaging, focused, clear, conversational, descriptive, well-written, and creative. Uh, what you see with this essay, I guess what I was trying to really show because I picked this one out of like 15 to 20 that I did read that were all really wonderful essays um, is that it took something not super related um, and fun and lighthearted and it managed to bring all of these different aspects of this writer together and sort of convey um, who they are as a person. They were able to show that they're open to trying new things and always open to learning without basically stating it outright, but showing us that um, that is what they want to do um, when they pursue whatever they're pursuing in college. And they talk about it as a strength rather than a lack of commitment. So they make it really clear that it's not a weakness, but they paint it more as a strength. So um, these were just a couple of my first thoughts when I read this essay and obviously it's, um, the vocabulary is fabulous. It's very well written, um, which comes with a lot of revision. So that leads me to some tips for getting started. So I've compiled a list of do's and don'ts. So what you wanna start with is creating a message. And this is probably the most important part of the process. Um, to get a good common app essay, to get a, good result, you need to have sort of a focus. And it can't be a singular focus, like, oh, I'm a hardworking person. Like, that's a great message in itself, but you need to have um, a message that in itself has many different parts to show that you're more than a, um, because you're not like just one thing, you're multiple things, um, to show how complex you are as a person and all the different parts of your personality, your message has to be, has to have more than just a singular focus. 
when I wrote my Common App essay, and um, if you want, I, will, I would be open to sharing that later. Um, I combined my interests for DECA, music, and my respect for my grandmother um, all into my Common App essay, as well as my love for reading. And my message was that as, um, as an immigrant here, I take what I know and rely on my culture, but I also mix it with things I'm unaware of and I don't know to create something that is uniquely mine and that helps me sort of find my path forward. And that's what I'm gonna do in college. I'll take um, the culture, I'll take my music that I know, and then um, when in unexpected situations, I will take all of that knowledge and I will implement it with new stuff um, that I'm learning on the go to make something that is uniquely mine. And that was my message that was conveyed through my Common App essay. So it didn't just have a singular focus. It um, took multiple different things that were important to me and sort of combined them in a way that worked. Um, find inspiration. That's also why I put in this Common App essay. Um, lots of essays, because these essays aren't exactly like your academic writing that most of us do have to undergo in high school and is more of a creative writing process and a narrative story-like version because you're telling a story with your Common App essay. You, um, you should find inspiration from other essays on how to, other Common App essays that you can find online. Um, on how to basically structure your essay, the language that's used, the type of tone, and everything like that, because it's much more personal, and there's, it's um, first person, obviously, so that type of writing takes a little bit of practice, and um, looking through examples already there, I'm not saying you should steal their ideas, because then it would, you would lose, like, um, the uniqueness of your essay, but finding inspirations for for structure and other stuff like that is always a good idea. Um, I also recommend doing 30 minute flow sessions because this writing is generally, unless you've taken tons of creative writing storytelling courses during your high school career, unlike a lot of writing that you do usually do. So um, I find that it's really, I found that it was really helpful last year for me to do sort of stream of consciousness sort of writing where um, you just time yourself for 30 minutes and you write about stuff that's important to you. And it doesn't all have to be related to each other when you do the 30 minute different like sessions because it's gonna take more than one 30 minute session to come up with like common app essay ideas. But these help you find out stuff that's meaningful to you that um, truly de like demonstrates your character and you can pick ideas from there. And then detail and depth. So most Common App essays, this one didn't focus on a particular situation per se, but um, like the Common App essays that do, uh, they focus on like about five to 10 minutes in time, in our real time. So what you're looking for is um, filling in every detail for the reader because they're not there at the scene. So you're basically painting them a picture. So detail is extremely important and that's where you get to show off your vocabulary as well without sounding like you're trying too hard. And then depth, um, which is obviously um, the meaningful part of it. And then, uh, and then personalize. Uh, you, have your, you can personalize with languages um, by incorporating family members, by explaining why um, your interests and why they're important to you. Like I'm sure everybody does debate or um, like some sort of activity where there's a lot of overlap where a lot of students do that activity. But why is it different for you? What does it mean to you? And how can you add things that are uniquely you to your essay so it makes it stand out to admissions officers? Because you have to keep in mind that most admissions officers are only reading your essay for about six to seven minutes. So they spend about maybe 15 minutes on your entire application for evaluation and six to seven of those are spent um, solely on your Common App and supplementals. So this is where they're getting the idea of who you really are. And um, anything you put in your essay that is uniquely you and um, clear would be easy for them to remember. So when they're later talking about your application, that's how they'll, they'll associate you with your Common App essay. And then always make sure to share for feedback. Um, during your writing process, it's really important to get feedback from a lot of other people. Um, but this comes with some caveats. 
I would not recommend showing this to um, your academic English teachers um, for personal experience. And I asked my friends and my counselor about this as well, because they um, specialize in persuasive writing. They um, specialize in the academic writing, which requires you to have an introduction, thesis, um, your body paragraphs with topic sentences, evidence, analysis and all of that. And this writing is really different from that type of writing. So I would definitely look towards like, um, towards sort of different teachers, like creative writing teachers. Um, I know yearbook teachers can be really helpful too. Uh, librarians can also because they do a lot of story time and storytelling as well. So look to them for, um, for more feedback. And you can obviously go to your peers as well. But a note with um, peers, like I would definitely consider keeping sharing your writing within like a closer group, simply within your closer like friend group or somebody you don't know very well because um, sometimes what happens is when we share our work with other people, we find um, people find inspiration from that. And that's great. But then if you're sharing your essay with everyone around you, what happens is people start picking pieces from um, your essay and you might see that you might like do it um, unintentionally obviously because you're inspired and it seems like um, like a good thing to incorporate but then all, all of your essays especially when it happens like within a school end up looking the same and so I'm not trying to promote like secrecy but um, to keep it within like two or three people that you repeatedly go for feedback would definitely be um, a better path instead of like sharing it with everyone because humans unintentionally imitate. Um, a couple of do don'ts. Don't write in a traditional academic format. Um, I feel like that one's pretty obvious. As well as don't assume an arrogant tone. This happens unintentionally a lot too because Common App essays have a lot of eyes in them. Uh, it's like I did this and I did that and this happened to me. But uh, by being more descriptive and incorporating your setting and incorporating other people or other situations, you can sort of take the focus off of you for a little bit and show that um, you do realize you're like you're not such a self-centered person and um, you consider the world around you. Uh, don't make silly grammar and punctuation mistakes. This can um, these can often get away, which is also why you should have someone else read it. And also reading it out loud will help you catch all of these as well. Um, don't talk about the four Ds. Um, these include death, depression, um, drugs, and there's one more, depression, drugs, and um, where I can't remember the fourth one off the top of my head, but this also has exceptions. What we're really trying to focus on with the Common App essay is your admission officer is going to get a certain tone or mood from the actual essay. So you want it to be like uplifting and um, you can make them cry and stuff like that. But if they read something um, that's inherently sad and doesn't have like, I guess, a sort of balanced perspective, then um, they might view you as negative or um, as unable to cope and they take that and admissions officers take that into consideration for admissions. Uh, that's not to say that you can't talk about death, death depression, or drugs. Um, if it has had like a major impact on your life and if you're working towards like um, a better life because that is sort of uplifting, that has like an upswing um, with the essay and that's inspiring. But if you're just solely focused on death, depression, or drugs, then it can often leave a sour taste in the admission officer's mouth. Um, then writing with a singular focus, I went over that. And don't start last minute. Um, these essays, they are seemingly easy to write at first, but they can't be, um, yeah, thanks Audrey for putting that in the chat. Uh, you can write a Common App essay in like two or three days, but it's not going to be very good. I remember my personal um, Common App essay experience. I'll, I told you guys it took me about like a month-ish to write. Uh, but my final product didn't look anything like my first product because what I was doing was 30-minute flow sessions. And I was writing paragraphs about all my different interests 
and my family and stuff like that. And I ended up combining it to create like this bigger product and that takes time and revision. So starting last minute is, um, is a recipe for failure. Um, or you won't get a, the end result that you probably hoped for or wanted. Um, so I think that's about it for me. So here, I'll just give you guys a minute to look at the 2020 to 2021 Common App Essay prompts. Uh, they're very similar to last year's as well. So if you wanted to know, uh, I did the first one and I talked a little bit about my grandmother, so. And then finally, I have some other resources. These have um, really good essays. This one comes from John Hopkins. They posted a couple of essays they like that got admitted. Um, these ones are pretty good as well. This one comes from Tufts. And this one is a PDF that includes 50 essays that were in accepted into the Ivy League as well as common essay tips, um, more do's and don'ts basically. Um, and I would be happy to share these. Um, so that we could put them in the Slack channel or elsewhere. And since this is being recorded and put on YouTube, you'll obviously have access to them from there as well. Okay, thank you so much for your time. Um, I'll open up the floor for questions. You can put them in the chat, you can ask them out loud, or you can reach out to me through email. Yep, so um, right now just put questions in the chat and then we'll try to answer them before the time limit is up. So I think we still have around 10 minutes left, 15 for questions. Yeah, thanks Angelica for asking that. When you look at reducing um, word count, uh, contractions are a great way to go since it's a little more, again, it's not like academic writing. So you can definitely use contractions and make it a bit more informal and conversational. Uh, synonyms for phrases work really well and that's just part of the revision process and again sh when you show it to different people they can um, point out to you where things are a little bit too wordy where they're not um, I don't recommend taking out full chunks of stuff um, because generally you want all your ideas to be conveyed you don't want to lose all of that and uh, while 650 words um, like may not seem like a lot for an essay where you're writing all about you, but it actually ends up being longer than you think. I think my first draft, like full draft was about 800 words, but for me to cut it down to 650 was not that bad uh, because there was a lot of unnecessary fluff in there and stuff like that. So uh, I do know that a lot of people get worried about uh, having to cut down but often, if you're like too conversational and stuff like that, phrases can be replaced with synonyms. You can use contractions, um, other forms of words, and stuff like that. And it gets shortened pretty easily. Uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend talking about extracurriculars in the Common App essay if that's like, because you can give them a new perspective on why you're. Um, why you why you did the extracurriculars that you do so it's like showing them it's not just for college but it means something to you uh for example i did mine on a uh, deca and music and the first time i was in a deca competition and how i had no idea what to do and um so my starting point for me was music so we based our entire presentation off of a jingle so i incorporated my extracurricular activities uh, a note here though, if you do really focus on your extracurricular interests and why they're important to you and why they're meaningful to you, why you do them, et cetera, in the Common App essay, then you should not write about them in your supplementals because 
um, you're already showing the admission counselors or admission officers a little bit, um, you're already showing them in a really focused way um, those extracurriculars. So then it'd be a good idea to focus on other stuff to basically show um, how diverse you have or your variety of interests during that um, in your entire application. Um, Navia asked, would talking about getting lower grades a certain year um, be a good idea and how you learn from that, like be a good essay idea? Uh, yeah, Navia, that could be a potential idea. I would like to point out though, that in the Common App essay, they have an additional comments section, which is about 500 words, where you can explain your family circumstances or why you had a bad semester and stuff like that. So if you didn't want to incorporate it into your Common App essay, if you didn't want to base it off of that, that is a, um, the additional comments section is a great place in your Common App application to explain any extenuating or various circumstances that you may have had. All right, and finally, I'm just gonna ask a really quick question. So one of my friends talked about how, cause I know you said don't ask teachers for, well, English teachers for advice. Mm -hmm. um, one of my friends talked about asking in a, a teacher who like doesn't know you at all to read your essay because it's like similar to getting an admissions officer to read your essay. Do yeah. you think that's a good idea or like should you just stay away from teachers altogether? Um, when I was talking about like English teachers in general, I was talking about the ones who um, have taught you and who generally focus on your academic and persuasive writing. If you've had a creative writing teacher, I would strongly, strongly recommend going and reaching out to them and have them read your essay because they're, they've been more focused on the storytelling aspect of writing anyways. Um, but yes, also approaching English teachers who haven't like seen your work before and who haven't really graded you in a class is also a wonderful idea because then they're not sort of in that grading mindset when they're looking at your stuff and more looking to see if your story's coming across. Awesome. Well, if we don't have any more questions, we'll be ending the seminar here. Um, if you guys have more questions, feel free to email them to achieveclubinitiative at gmail.com or um, Achita's email, which she put on the screen. And thank you so much for this really informative seminar about essay writing. And thank you to everyone who attended. Yeah, thank you, everyone. You can also ask me UC Berkeley related questions. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Um, or just reach out in the fall if you want me to look, look at your essay. All right, awesome. I'll end the recording here.